So today I'm talking about a Nissan with the P0345 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Nissan P0345 code? Well, it's a camshaft position, sensor A, circuit malfunction, bank two. And what does this mean? Well, there are sensors located at each camshaft and they report to the onboard computer the location of the camshaft as it spins. And the computer uses this for timing information to time the engine. And it's seen a problem with one of these sensors. So it's got to be troubleshooting. Now why? And V6 and V8 engines, they have two banks. Bank one is always going to be the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. And then bank two is the opposite of that. So if you find the number one cylinder, that's going to be bank one. And then the opposite is going to be bank two. So for example, right here, here's a 2010 Nissan Pathfinder. This left side is going to be bank one. And this side over here is going to be bank two. And so the computer's seen a problem with the camshaft position sensor on this side of the engine. There's going to be two sensors, one on bank one and one on bank two. And so what are some possible causes? Well, it could be a bad camshaft position sensor over here on bank two. There can be some differences on where the sensors are located. So it's always a good idea to get a diagram for your specific engine. But on this particular engine, the 2010 Pathfinder, they're located right up behind the engine. They'll be up against the firewall right on the back side, right below the valve covers, right down inside of here on the back. And on this particular one, they are kind of difficult to get to, but they're located right down inside of the back back here. But the first thing to do is go check out that camshaft position sensor on bank two, because that is a very common problem with this code. And very commonly that sensor just needs to be replaced. Another thing that could cause this problem is there's a problem inside the wiring. And basically just keep in mind, anything wrong with the wiring, open, short, bad connection, anything like this is gonna cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. You can't test the wiring if you want to. The older Nissan's had two wires going to the sensor. Some newer ones can have four wires. Three wire sensors are the most common. Like I said, it's always a good idea to get a diagram for your specific engine, but these three wires are very common. And basically what's going on with these is you have a ground wire, you'll have power that comes to it when the key goes into the on position. And then you have a signal wire that sends a pulse back to the computer. Every single time one of the teeth on the camshaft spins past the sensor, it'll send a signal back to the computer. And the computer's keeping track of this. So you can't test the wiring if you want to. And also keep in mind that these could be on a fuse. It can be kind of vague sometimes which fuse it's on, since sometimes it's shared with other components. But these can't be on a fuse, and if it blows, then that can cause issues. So that's something to keep in mind. Another thing that sometimes happens is that the timing chain becomes stretched and it's just throwing the sensor off. Although usually when this happens, it's gonna throw off the other sensor too. So if you're also getting like a P0340 code, which is gonna be the camshaft position sensor on bank one, then it's possible there's something going on with the timing chain, it slipped a notch or it's just stretched really bad. But if you are only getting a P0345 code, then very likely it's not a timing chain. It's just either a bad camshaft position sensor or something going on in the wiring. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Nissan with the P0345 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.